we've got uh, Funke Awoloa, who is the secretary of the Tactical Selection Committee, Alliance for Defense of Democracy. Thank you for coming on this morning. Well, looking at this whole scenario, as it's playing out, as we wind down to the big day this weekend, this Saturday, the elections, how relevant is Alliance for Defense of Democracy? Um, the Alliance for the Defense of Democracy is an attempt to actually confront the so much um, fragmented um, many political parties that we have. We want a wholesomeness so that we, ha we can narrow them down from like 60 to 4, which is what we've done. You've, done, you've narrowed them from 60 to 4? Yes. That, uh, speaking, uh, I don't understand. I, I, is, it a, is it a coalition now? We are working at that so that um, we have not just so much fragmented parties, so that we have about four people you know, who will come out and of course mm. will come together. Let me get a little more on this in terms of you narrowing them down. Because how have you dealt with the fact that, look, people still feel that they can go ahead and register more political parties? Because, look, there's so much list. The next chairman has said it. There are a lot of lists, applications waiting to be registered. So are you not going to be chasing shadows if yeah. you wait until they register, then you come and narrow them down? No, we're not waiting. What we're doing is doing a criteria. To, you know, to do what I just said, the narrowing down. What we have done is looked at the spirit, the influence, integrity, and um, the financial capacity. You know, we're doing realistic measures so that we don't have peace mills all over the place and we're not making, you know, the whole idea is to bring governance that is relevant, that is effective, and that meets you know, the needs of the people. So if you have so many parties, that means you're... Mm. Okay, so if I understand you, yeah. you want to ensure that power what to take uh, governance or maybe power away from the ruling party to what these other groups you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, so we what? don't appear like noisemakers. The effectiveness is very important at the end of the day. So what we are doing, you know, if you look at what we are looking for, the resistance, the measures, and all that, there's a uniformity, so to speak, and um, so many people are saying I can do it. But we know that 25 people or 30 people will not come into government. So, so, so what, these criteria, are, what, what criteria are you using in your measurement? Thank you. We are looking at structure in terms of the party and the spread. Every party has a structure and a spread. So we are looking at that. We are looking at um, health issues as well, soundness of mind, which is an issue in this present government. That's very important. We are looking at the financial you know, influence in terms of logistics. We're looking at um, agenda and ideology. So those are the things, the consensus that will bring these parties together. Aren't and it you, has worked, yeah. Aren't you concerned that uh, some of these parties may not really fit together in the larger scheme of things, like uh, strange birds of strange feathers flocking together? Well, that's what we have in the present government and I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that it has, it has not worked, so to speak. So what we're looking at, we've looked at the agendas. We've done a deep work at looking at agendas, and we see that we can bring them together. Instead of having, because I feel it's a menace to have all those parties come up, we know that some of them will end up with like five votes and all that. And that's not, you know, it doesn't make sense. So what we are doing, we scored it. And we've, we arrived with four parties. And, and you, what's it? Sorry, yeah. You're doing this for this election? Yes, we have. Yeah. Don't you think it's too late for all of this? Well, like the Englishman would say, it's better late than never. Well, we're being realistic. It is actually too late because you just have four days to the elections. How are you going to mobilize and move into the, and accomplish your goals? What we're going to do is um, from 9 o'clock today, we're going to have 5 million votes till 7 o'clock. The response will determine the effectiveness. So we're working with realistic figures and all that. And the, and you don't have five million what? Million come online to vote through Mr. Killer. They're yeah. going to vote and they're going to express themselves. We also have another panel, which includes um, Olisa Bakuba, Walisho Inka, um, my aunt, Mr. Olo, that will back us up, Femi Falano. 
to give their opinion on these parties. Um, I must inform you that this is a popular call for us to narrow down these parties. It's been an ongoing thing. Like you said, it came a bit too late, but I feel that the effectiveness um, will be more realistic than the latent effect. So where is this five million from? How did you arrive at that? Five million online. People, there are so many people online. Yeah, yeah, but so you're, you're, you're so, you sound so sure that you will have five million come along. Yes, I mean, because we've uh, done so. What's the platform? Analysis. We have, from, like my party, for example, I come from the People's Trust. We have such followership. And I expect that, for example, Kingsley Mogalu, Showore, and um, I think there are four of them we've chosen, Fela Jutui, they all have followership. And of course, it exceeds that five million. Because, you know, at the time that when you refer to that this is a call that the people actually wanted, yes, there was a time that lots of people wanted a, a credible alternative, maybe like a third force or alternative of, of in that magnitude. But they kept on waiting, and, uh, you know, you just admitted, yes, it's coming too late. Do you still think you have that fellowship that are still going to key into this third force? I if think whoever, I did, um, you know, Thank you. I think I mentioned it that it was a popular call that you people come together and become a force. You mentioned the third force. A force is a concerted effort by every party. We, all we want is that we are seeing things that we do not like, and that is something that brings us together. And so, because of that, I feel that there will be enough response because mm -hmm. a lot of people expect a change. There's a, enough apathy for us to come together. What do you say to those mm -hmm. who? look at the whole scenario and think, well, if this happens, uh, what you will succeed in doing, yeah. either by you know, default or somehow, is you will just succeed in weakening opposition, and then the ruling party will just coast home, because by the time you deplete votes coming from the other side, you just automatically have made way for the ruling party to go ahead and okay, cause the victory. Okay, um, that's one way to look at, the, at it. But I just said that there's lethargy, there's apathy. And I think uh, even the opposition have not met that. That's why we are getting that feeling. And people are calling us that we want to vote for you, but there's so much fragmentation in the system. Come together as a force. And then, of course, with that fusion, we have to agree on some principles. And that's why we have done rating, which has brought this about. You said it's late, but the lateness is something they called for. You know, we have a feel of the people, and that's why we are coming out okay. for this expression. First of all, why has it taken so long? Because, as you said, mm. it's a call, and if I remember, if I recall correctly, the former president, Tudusha Kobasujo, mentioning this, I think it was last year or so, yeah. calling for a third force of sorts. So why has it taken so long for so many of you to come together? It's a follow-up question to that, but okay. why, why has it taken so long? First of all, you know, for many of them that came out, I feel that they've been long at it. They've had that vision to be a part of Nigerian governance, and it has taken them this long to actually decide that I'm going to be, I want to be president of Nigeria. And you see, every man has a vision, and they don't drop it as a snap of a finger. So it's taken a lot of struggle for the man to say, okay, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to join for safety. Because you know that when a man sets out with a vision, it takes a lot of work. So it's taken a struggle to get all these men together to say, let's sit down and agree. And that's why it's taking this long. Oh, okay, so, sorry, sorry, Jugima. The, the, um, you also made reference to something that was happening, mm. that is happening in some of these other parties who have formed one coalition or the other. Um, some ruckus in the house, so to speak, with just four days to the election, what's the assurance we have that this same alliance will not implode? Um, I, first of all, I want because, to Because, sir, if you, you will agree that if, if people come to your side, they're pretty much putting their lives, their futures, their destinies in your hands. So That's what's right. the assurance they have that your, your, your alliance is strong enough to hold their destinies? Well, it's, something, it's a chance that they have to take. You know, one thing I have said, you know, these are many people with visions and designs. They're not flippant 
about what they want for Nigeria. And what we're going to do is like come together on the major points on which we agree together, you see. So that means that there will be not so much division, so to speak. So yes, it's taking this long, but I like to correct the impression also. It's not the first time we've been talking for a while. But you see, of course, a man will tell you, I'm not ready to drop my vision for you. So there's been some silent struggle. If I follow that up a bit, yeah. I mean, I know you, you, you may have seen this in your uh, negotiation with these uh, politicians. At this stage, these chaps have spent a lot of money and resources in yeah. campaigning and getting to this point. So what's going to happen? How are you, are you thinking about compensating them if they step down? In what way? I think was it Roosevelt that said um, you should not think of what the country will do for you or what uh, you'll do for you. Yeah, sometimes it takes that. Do those politicians agree with yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what will determine the integrity. We're so also looking at the man. But if a man has spent money, too. what's wrong? Is he, is he, does he not have any more integrity if he says, look, this is politics and negotiations. Compensate me if you want me to step down. Does that take away from his integrity? It doesn't, but let's bring this a bit close to home. My granddad did a lot in the last election. And I don't think he had to stab himself. Whatever you do speaks volumes, even after you're long gone. So you see, the sacrifice, if it's for Nigeria, and if it's the love of country, which we call patriotism, I think a man will not put it down to figures, you know, financial figures, which is what we are fighting again with the present government. It's all about figures, how much, you know, they can give and all that. Okay. We are coming here. Yeah. A follow-up to uh, Chamberlain's question, because uh, we're still trying to find out how this is going to work. And yes. we know just recently that uh, Nobel Laureate, who is part of you, um, uh, Wale Shoinka, did endorse uh, Kingsley Mogalo of the YPP. Yeah. Is this a rally, or is, is this a coming together to um, support one candidate, or is it uh, to support the four that you mentioned? Well, I'll suggest that, um, in my opinion, that... Um, the professor was thinking aloud because I'm sure he saw the fragmentation and that's why he picked one person. And that one person that he has chosen is also part of the people we've picked. You know, but... Um, is that not like a head start? <coughs> well, I, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. But um, we've also chosen my own presidential candidate, which is Binga Olaipo Hashim, Showaway is there, and um, Mongolu and all that. So we're looking deeply and um, But only one president should, will emerge at the end of the day. Definitely. Definitely. And we're working Are you confident that. that any of your chosen candidates will emerge as president? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Because we're looking okay. at realistic measures to bring it down to what Nigerians want and expect. Okay. So we'll be looking to see uh, what eventually happens. So uh, we'll keep up to date with that one. Uh, Frank Awolowo is Secretary, Tactical Selection Committee, Alliance for Defense of Democracy. So they'll be putting all the tactics that they require in this one. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you.